Hi everyone, I'm JD from Miller Band Journals. Welcome back to my channel. So I've got a journal flip through of a journal of bags. Look at that. Isn't that so fun? Oh my goodness. I love it. I need to take a photo of that. <laughs> um, so every single page is made from a bag. So there's pockets everywhere, pockets on this side, pockets on that side. And it's also made from a bag for the cover. And I've just stitched on something a bit more decorative so it's not just a bag. And it's one of Johanna Clough's printables from the antique, no, not the antique. I think it's just a vintage wallpaper remnants pack number three. So I stitched that on. And then I kind of tried to make it a journal of pockets too. So there's pockets in pockets and envelopes and bags everywhere, but the base of the pages is all bags. So that's why it's a bag, a, a journal of bags. So we've got a tag in here. We've got a note paper there. And I did try to put quite a few note papers in here because not really a writing journal, but if you wanted to do that, you could use all the pieces in there to write on. But I was thinking more like it might be an ephemera holder. There's a photo in there, there's an envelope. So I'm not going to go through absolutely every single thing because we could be here forever. But just to give you a bit of a look, there's Amity Bloom printables in there and in here. I love how that looks in that. That flips open, there's a glassine bag and there's some more film strips in there from Amity Bloom. There's a whole bunch of little note papers in here. In that pocket, I just put in a botanical card there. A whole bunch of doilies in this one. Um, I glued on a glassine bag and there's a whole bunch of washi stickers there, botanical ones. And I just love using all different types of bags from all over. So post office bags, news agent bags. Um, did you see the, oh, where is it? The mushroom bag from the grocers and just other fun little bags. So any little bags, glassine bags, um, brown paper bags. So just to give you an idea of what you can maybe do as well, just collect all these bags. Got a card in there, a tag, a whole bunch of tag from Kylie from Paper Daisy Journals. We've got um, more printables from Johanna Clough in there. So they fold out and they can be like writing space. You can see there's some really pretty flowers there. There's a little tuck spot here with a flash card. And this is kind of fun. It opens up and you've got some postcards in there and one here. So it was a really fun idea doing this. <laughs> I did one last year as an experiment and it was so chunky. So I wanted to do one that well, it was still chunky, but that kind of looks like a journal. <laughs> um, and there's a whole bunch of Amity Bloom's Polaroids in here. A different type of mushroom bag. And then there's slots here because it's gusted. So I put one in there and then an envelope in there. We've got a Harry Potter card, a playing card in this bag. More Amity Bloom printables in here. And note papers and more printables. Printables, note papers, printables. <laughs> These ones are from Johanna Clough, so you get a whole bunch there. So yeah, it is kind of like an ephemera folder just to put on your desk, index card behind there in this library card pocket. And then you can pull out from it, it's eclectic and always have some things on the go. And then you can keep replacing things, photo, there's a card in there. And a lot of these things I have been hoarding for a while. And so with the move and decluttering, I'm just trying to put things away. <laughs> and pack things up and move things out as well. So it's a bit sad that some of these things I didn't get to use, but I just, yeah, <laughs> it's a lesson to note to self, use the things, otherwise you never know when you might have to part with them. Anyway, so there's a whole bunch of other things in there. There's a whole bunch of vintage queen stamps in here. Just lots of goodies, lots of fun things. Another card. Okay, there's a another playing card in there and we've got a tag behind here which is like my favorite shade one of my favorite shades so i was hoarding that for a while <laughs> just for the color i like the pa the pastel blue green look and one of my tags i sewn around shiny envelope but again i was hoarding that there's another few playing cards and there are a couple another flash card in there just really fun and eclectic journal this one's kind of fun, there's a pocket there, and then an envelope, a glassine envelope there. And I think there is a pocket there as well. And here there's a little tea bag. One of my envelope, coffee dyed envelopes, another envelope. 
there's a whole bunch of large journal cards in here and one of my tags just to have a peekaboo pocket <laughs> down there a surprise pocket so that is the journal of bags so such a fun idea everyone do one i think everyone should make a journal of bags at least once because it's so fun <laughs> and then it's, it's like a a very either interactive and eclectic journal or an ephemera holder that's really fun just to have there sitting on your desk and you just pull things out add them to your journals and really fun so this one is already taken thank you thank you so much hope you absolutely love it and hope you enjoyed this flip through and give it a go at home <laughs> um, you guys are all beautiful beautiful gems you are gifts to the world thank you so much for being you you bring light and goodness and beauty to those around you so shine bright and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys